What's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon back and today I am bringing you an older style video. It's an oldie but goodie. Today we will be reviewing some hilarious and absolutely downright ridiculous uh, Pokemon listings that you see on eBay. Now these ridiculous listings videos aren't my most popular ones, but the people who watch it really do seem to enjoy it. So today in typical top 10 fashion, I got 10 ridiculous slash hilarious uh, Pokemon related listings on eBay. I don't know what part this is, but it's gonna be a good one. Folks, I'm gonna make this video very short, but very sweet. So before I get into it, please consider being a subscriber if you're not already, and of course, give the video a like. On your way out, I would really appreciate it. So let's jump right into this mess of eBay listings, starting off with this uh, holographic Pidgeot. It's graded a PSA 8, and it's laying right beside Fido. So certainly not the most outrageous thing we've ever seen on eBay. Uh, it's a very interesting way to uh, promote your eBay listing. I'll give it that. So yeah, it's not every day you come across an animal holding a graded Pokemon card, but there you go. Up next, we have a Donald Trump VMAX. So yeah, it looks like it's Trump's head edited on to Sylvester Stallone's body from Rocky III, is what I'm getting. Hey, hey come on, no fooling around, right? So if you want the 47th President VMAX, you're gonna be paying about $25 with about $4.65 shipping which seems like a pretty expensive custom card, if you ask me. All right, up next, these are classic. We've come across these a bazillion times. A first edition Pokemon card, rare, uh, Diamond Charmander. And there's a lot wrong with the title of this listing. It is not first edition, it is not rare, and I'm not sure what they're talking about by diamond? What's that, what's that supposed to mean? Because if you go by the uh, symbol, it's actually a circle. There's no diamond on there, but all right, let's just throw some fancy words on there like, First edition, rare, diamond. That'll get you the $20,000 price tag you're looking for, no doubt. Up next, we got about, I don't know, 32 so-so Watsy cards listed for over $28,000, uh, with a lot of them being energies and just commons and uncommons from base set and jungle. Uh, yeah, I don't, I never understand these listings where you just find Pokemon cards, so you're gonna throw it up on eBay and hope to become rich overnight. Doesn't make any sense, absolutely ridiculous. All right, here, this one's very interesting. It looks like a lot of over 200 fake looking cards. I mean, the picture itself isn't very, uh, isn't very well done, but the way it's shining and the way the cards are curving, it looks like it might be a bunch of fake cards that sold an auction for a dollar. Uh, but wow, that is quite a hefty shipping tag there of $100,000 to ship these cards. What? How is eBay allowing you to list uh, something on eBay and charge $100,000 worth of shipping? Like, that's, there's just never a need. That, that shouldn't even be allowed. All right, up next we have this Gold Star Umbreon from the Celebrations Classic Collection, uh, listed as a starting bid of $1,500. So, I'm not sure if this person thinks that they got a hold of the Pop Series 5 Umbreon Gold Star, because that would make more sense, you know, with a price like this. But, yeah, okay. That card's not worth anywhere near that even graded a PSA 10, so. Whatever. All right, up next is a fake looking uh, Charizard card from Evolution Set. Uh, I definitely don't see any hollow pattern on this card, but it sold an auction for over $10,000. I am sure that's 100% legit. And it's got the authenticity guarantee, so <laughs> I wonder how that went. And we're gonna finish off these ridiculous listings with the most ridiculous of them all, which is the Pokemon Oreo cookies that are still listed on eBay for extravagant amounts. Here is one listed for $66,666.66. It is a rare Mew cookie with the vintage crack. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm assuming by the way this is listed, it's a joke. Uh, that's a pretty funny touch though with the vintage crack down the side. And then here we have one, this guy's got gloves on. It is a Mew Oreo factory defect. One cookie is inside out and it's always the Mew Oreo. I don't know why, but it's listed for $20,000 and this person is taking extra special precautions with this cookie, having it in a gloved hand. Ridiculous. And then here we got what looks to be five packs of Oreos listed for $25,000. Uh, Pokemon Oreo limited edition unopened and vacuum sealed. Super rare with a bunch of Japanese symbols. So no, Oreos are typically not vacuum sealed. Once again, folks, this is the most ridiculous thing. I covered this over a year ago. People are still listing these Oreos, expecting, I don't know what, but it is absolutely hilarious and positively ridiculous. Thank you so much for watching. If you ever come across a ridiculous listing involving Pokemon on eBay, feel free to send it to me via Instagram or email. I will link both of those in the description. 
Uh, like I said, folks, a short and sweet video for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Give the video a like, and I'll see you in my next one.